Hey there, Jorio here, and welcome back to Delta Games Train Simulator. Today we take service in the class 3 on 3, this is the Armstrong Powerhouse model, on trip from here in Moorgate to Welvengon City. So, it's about a one hour service today, starting off in Moorgate, London's... I guess it's one of its London's small terminuses, it connects to the, uh, both the Victoria Line and the uh, Circle Line. Here at uh, Moorgate, so there's a Metropolitan Line, and uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's quite a historic run. This used to be part of, well, right now in the, um, what's it called, the North something line. Basically, this used to be a part of the London Underground's Northern, sorry, it's Northern, uh, Northern line, not Victoria line, but this part used to be part of the Northern line, but uh, that was seen back in the 1980s and transferred to Greater Northern. So, we'll be riding on the former bit of the line from here in Moorgates up towards Finsbury, Finsbury Park, where we then take the Greater Northern line up towards Wollongong City, which takes the, uh, Western branch of that, so we'll set train up press departure with a parting at uh, 1917. If we go to plan, we're using the uh, third rails map to track our route today, so hopefully, we'll go to plan. And uh, yeah, so anything up for that. That's and that's all much that the train is ready to go, so we'll put the reverse into neutral. The DWS sets the marker lights and tail lights. We'll lower the once you're the crafts down, DC mode is set. Set reset and now open the doors. If we head to the front of the train, we'll make sure that the destination boards are now set to Welcome Garden City. Junction, Welcome GC, perfect. And now our train is ready to uh, depart on time for Greta Plan. Uh, we'll transmit to Chris Abbott. Welcome, Chris. How are you doing? Welcome, James Chats. Uh, I will be watching the Force Class stream tonight. Yes, I will be. It's in about well, it's it's in about forty five minutes. The serve the stream's about one hour long, so I may miss the very start of it, but I'll definitely be tuning in to say hello at the end of that. Right, so that's all set. Actually make sure we're on drive control doors, not the uh, guard control doors, that's fine. We will reset the train into forward. And uh yeah, so that's the move now. We show DRA off, driver system off. Oops, make sure the brakes are off. And now we can get going. Uh, no rail driver today. The Armstrong Powerhouse trains are not compatible with rail driver, and therefore we're just using the uh, box standard keyboard controls today. Who fasten this a little bit? Uh, yes, yeah, so the Moorgate is an underground station. It used well, it has got Northern Line and Circle Line services here, and Metropolitan Line services, and this used to be part of the. I can't remember. I can't quite remember the name of it, but this used to be the, uh, this used to be part of the Northern Line, but was transferred to the Great Northern back in the 1980s. And also, Platform 10 was where the crash was a couple of years ago, so if you know you guys know of the, uh, more than underground crash, Platform 10, where we departed from today, was also where that took place. I guess a bit of a, a darker bit of history for you lots. I'll slowly pull it up to 30. Sure the uh, volume's a bit louder. It's not a very loud train. This is an EMU, very early EMU actually, built in the 1960s, if I recall correctly. We'll uh, carry on the service as is. Turn the station stop at today, so we stop at Old Street, Essex Road, Highbury, Islington, Drayton Park, Finsbury Park. We then pass through Harringay and Hornsey, no stopping there, to Alexandra Palace. Then it's New Southgate, Oakley Park, New Barnets, Headley Woods, Potter's Bar, Brixton's Park. Wellham Green, Hatsfields, Moistens off for a minute, and then Wellham Garden City where the train terminates. A bit breaking on. Quite an emergency, please. Slowly. Green train to the end of Old Street Station. That'll do. Doors open. So now Old Street, we stop here for a minute, so depart at 20 past 7. Arrival time, 4 past 8. It's actually 4 past 8, we'll be pretty much on time for the uh, start of the Delta stream after this.
And so I guess one thing I was saying, so this is the Armstrong Powerhouse train set, which is a very, very detailed uh, unit. Probably one of the most detailed in train sim, I'd say. Close doors. It's a very, very good unit, this. The cab design, the functionality, the controls, it's all been very well put together. I'm sure they've done a very good job at getting trained together. And also the sounds. The sounds are very well put together. It's not a very loud train. Sounds good, that. Great Northern City. Cheers, Russ. Great Northern City line. I'll cut off at 30 miles per hour. A little bit where I can just help slow down. There we go. It'd be nice to train some mod too. It would be good, um, Atrial. The 313 is no longer operating this line. They've been since retired by the class 707s, I think it is. The uh, same family as Thames 700s. They are Desiree Cities by right? Siemens, I believe it says. Next station is Essex Road. We arrive at 1923, depart to 1923. So we'll be stopping here for just a couple of moments. At Highbury and we then cross paths with the Victoria line. We we'll actually see their platforms on the other side. We'll have a quick look at that. And then at Drayton Park, we'll be leaving the tunnels, switch over to overhead catenary, and then take the train on from there. Seven one seven, sorry, cheers, uh, Snaz. Seven oh sevens, they're the ones going. So there's southwest trains going now to southeast. I believe seven oh sevens. You are correct. A little bit more speed on that. We need to slow down to twenty five. As we enter the platform for uh, Retex Road, so we'll definitely get ready for that. Welcome, Hearty, how are you doing? Welcome to the channel, welcome to the chat, how are you today? A little bit more speed going on. Uh, you've seen images and videos of the line pre pandemic. Oh, yeah, the Northern City line is not exactly one that's uh, lavish with passengers in its service life. It's kind of a. Uh, well, like London's forgotten underground line, this. It's never been one massively popular with passengers. So we reduce down to about 10 miles per hour and then we just cross the end of the platform and bring change to a halt. So far so good timing. Time. Yeah, just missed it. Just missed it. Once the doors open. I must say, actually, if you're interested in seeing what London, if you're ever in London and you're interested in what London Underground stations were like back in, say, the 1980s, check out the Northern City London line because these platforms haven't really been renovated since the 80s. They're bare bones, very simplistic in their design. Got nice northern tiling on all the platforms. They're very good, and uh, yeah, it's a very, it's a very rustic line. This, especially Drayton Park. When we exit the tunnels, we hit Drayton Park. Take a moment to kind of look outside, see what. what that looks like when we get there. Close doors. Welcome, Quan Night. How you doing? Welcome, Jungle Chats. How are you today? Right. Next station. Hi, Bryn Islington. Got that going. Right. Uh, yeah, first live. Welcome. Uh,. Scotland, yes, so the 314s were up in Scotland, they were 80 pass, they only had the overhead scenery. The 313s are dual, well, so you can do overhead and you can do a third rail, so let's say when we get straight to the park, we will switch to the overhead power. If I remember how to do that, so if not, it'd be very awkward. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, I can't see how it all comes together, really. Station announcements would be good for train sim, that would be for sure, Joshua. Station announcements would be very good for train sim. 
So crawling on the 30. At this point, we've now be crossing over. Oh, a bit of tunnel missing there. <laughs> uh, yeah, so we will be crossing over with the Victoria line. And then both platforms are side by side. We enter the platform. The brakes, slow things down. And like I say, it's a very, very bare bone station. In this you can actually see the, uh, well, the skeleton station. How it's all holding the all together. Ray Northern is one of the well, it's part of the Thameslink uh, route, operated by Govia here in the UK. Go ahead, Group and uh, Keolis, French company. Open. As we leave this platform straight ahead, you do have the Victoria Line platforms which are a bit, well, a lot more modern, a lot cleaner, a lot more uh, built together. And then elsewhere on the other side, you have the uh, southbound tunnel. So this is the Victoria Line and this is the Greater Northern. It's a very, uh, very rustic route, this one I must say. As soon as we hit Drayton, well, as soon as we hit Finsbury Park, which is fo station following Drayton Park, that's where things get a little bit more, uh, more built up. Let's close, and let's prepare to depart. Yeah, so three on floors coming to the Kafka Circle Line in Glasgow, whilst the next Principal DLC, which is looking pretty good. It's quite, in the, quite an interesting little choice for it, that, but very scenic. If you remember... Um... Who are they? Uh... The, ooh, thank you very much. Uh, Dan, for coming to sponsor, thank you very much. Much appreciated. Um, if you remember... Uh, who are they called? The one who does the Isle of Wight. River Games, River Games. They recently did the... Fife circle line for train simulator. I believe I probably ran wrong with this one, but I believe they do kind of cross paths the uh, two lines. All right, we're now leaving tunnel. We are now right underneath the Emirates Stadium, home of uh, London's worst club, Arsenal Football Club. We're slowly crossing on the platform. At Drayton Park, we stop for about a minute. So we arrive at 1927, so we're on time. We depart at 1928, so we have about a minute to uh, wait here. A minute to kind of check out the scenery. It all comes together. So we'll hop position here. We will now reset the train to neutral. My shoulders are open as well, actually. We are now going to hold the pantograph up button. All set. We'll then set reset the line. We switch over to a 25 kilovolt track. Pantographs are raised, and if all goes to plan, we should now be running over the um, on the overhead lines. I say, got the Arsenal Stadium just to our left. The station situated just underneath the uh, the bridge. Uh, also, fun fact: Drayton Park Station is actually closed during Arsenal games because of how small the station is and safety features not really being there. The uh, station actually closes for Russell Games. Passengers who want to go to the, the Emirates can't actually uh, travel to Resident Park. Right, brakes release, and hopefully, if we go to plan, we should now get moving. Ah, if we put the train forward, that'd probably help. Yes, we have. There we go. Next station, Finsbury Park. And she get up to 30. We then start to climb up here, get ourselves towards level ground. Up to then 35 miles per hour for this next bit. The top speed of the train's not particularly fast, I think it goes like up to 45, is it? Uh, so max speed on DC is 30 miles per hour, which is nothing. On the other catenary, up to 75. So do you get a bit more of a more of an oomph. But you've got to remember these trains are now what? 40, 50 years old, they're not going anywhere anytime soon. Well, they've been retired in the UK now, but in terms of movements, they don't exactly get too far, don't they? I 
as we park. Now slowly come around the corner. Grab the throttle and slowly we break on for the station. Let's take it on full service for now. Back to South Lap. On the left, you'll see the original Alexandra line. Platforms on the left. Yes, it used to be Alexandra Palace uh, line to our left. Platform since been knocked down by this little section that still sits here. I believe that's only read there for, for maintenance purposes. Apart from that, all long gone. So on. Try to make it before the end of the platform. Very, uh. It likes to get away from this train. Be very careful you braking. But apart from that, it's a very, very joyous train to drive this. We just park and depart at 19.32. It's got about a minute before we depart. 45 ish seconds. Down below, we've got the, uh, very busy high streets. And just next door. We should also have the uh, Victoria Line platform as well, the Victoria Line station. But obviously not featured in this uh, in this route. Oh yeah, you also got the uh, two by three seating layouts. Staple for a lot of these old uh, old British CMUs. We close the doors and we'll get ready to depart. I think, when was the last time I actually rode these trains? It was either a trip from Stevenage or it was a trip from uh, Alexandra Palace last time I rode on the, uh, the Run 3s. I have not yet been on the replacement 717s. Those trains are yet to, uh, to grace. Uh, well, we've got on City. So, in the UK, a Garden City is a, design a designated city that it's supposed to have a certain amount of greenery. I can't quite remember how it's all defined, but uh, there's a certain limitation, or there's a certain limit it requires so that it can actually be as nice as Garden City, but I'd have to kind of learn the specification. I'll break down to 30 again. And so, next two stations, uh, Harringay and Hornsey, we will not be stopping. Our next station is Alexandra Palace. We get there at 1937. We've got about five minutes to get to Alexandra Palace. Uh, BM7's train's not bad, you can also change your find. They've got charging points, has it? Very nice. Alright, so we're going to train slowly onto the main line. And as soon as the rear train hits the speed limit board, it also goes up, and let's get going. Uh, what does we feel more? So basically, for an EMU train, for an electric train, your power input is determined by the power as you go into the train. So you, you know, like a Hornby train, you turn the dial. The more the more power, the more electricity in the train, the faster it goes. And so basically, the different or the diff the amount of power you let onto your train determines how fast you can accelerate. So in this case, you have the shunt, which is minimal power small movements or in some cases train actually doesn't move at all and it's like a holding um, setup. You have series which is two lines generating power into the train. You have parallel which is some way but more jet power and then finally weak field which is then well, four power via four connection and the four power inputs goes to the train. I'm sure that's a terrible way of explaining things. That's probably the best I can do right now with this uh, the stream to down the road. They're going to go through Hornsey next, also passing through. I think that's a, a one seven one seven on our left. Yes, it is. They have a couple of uh, I think these are Thameslink actually. No, these are Thameslink trains. Tell by the uh, the blue doors. Also the yellow fronts. I think Great Northern has white fronts or black fronts. Their trains. So, not stopping here. 
passing through it. 1935. So about a minute earlier right now, it's just good to see. Alexander Palace in 0.8 miles. Uh, when you see new trains on the underground station of the line, it does occur since building the stations are pretty old, worn down. Yes, so I believe at some stage soon, Great Northern do want to renovate the entire Northern City line. And so with it, they'll rebuild stations, renovate it all, and just kind of make it look a bit prettier. Right, and a couple of those start slowing down for uh, Alexander Palace. Still running at a top speed of about 40 miles per hour. It's been limited rather than the uh, the four seventy five you got once upon a time. Uh, with the trains, as they get older, they do start to uh, start to lose some of their shine. In this case, some of their speed as well. All right, got a Thameslink train. System brakes on now. Start slowing down. It's released. Platform three, which is currently correct. Service train to Hot. Uh, if you go to London, you consider running the London line since it's a very empty line in the London area. I say, I believe it's one of London's, uh, well, one of London's least used, quietest railway. Well, well, London's least used bit of line was going to be the Greenford branch of the uh, Great Western Railway. But in terms of main line, this is probably one of them. To our left, we should spot Ali Paddy yet. Ali Paddy on the uh, top of the hill over there. Muswell Hill. That is the original BBC Broadcasting Tower, where the first TV signal was ever sent in the UK for Queen's Coronation. And, uh, yeah, quite a little detail station as well. I believe, um, oh no, that is still accurate. So, to leave station, you can't just go this way. That's a fence, that's all locked off. You have to go through the building, and then make a U-turn, and then carry on. It's quite a... Quite an interesting little station in St. Alexander Palace. Road stores, let's prepare for a departure. Uh, not too bad, Oliver. Not doing too bad. How are you doing? Welcome to the channel, welcome to the chat. So, next station is New Southgate. After that, it's Oakley Park, New Barnet, Hadleywood, Potter's Bar, Brooklyn's Park, Wellham Green, Hatfield, and Wellham Garden City. At this point, because you know trains limited to 40 miles per hour, you can pretty much go straight for throttle and let train case or anything else. Right, that there is a 717. So this is the new train for Great Northern. You can tell by the white front. It's meant to have a door on the front there, so I can imagine that's not quite the uh well this is just generic Desire City model. But the way you can tell is that it's got a door at the front, white fronts, and then kind of more black white textures. Uh, must say, enjoy the stream. Cheers, actually. I'm glad you're in the watch. Uh, is there any, is the line anywhere near you? Well, I've been on it a couple of times, uh, Joshua. It's the line that I do semi frequent. About 21 miles from the, uh, Start the finish this line. More gates to uh, Wilm Garden City, 21 miles and 29 chains. In a moment, we'll start to slow down for New South Gates. Yes, the uh, 717 does have the uh, infamous ironing board seats.
Gentle break. Press us for a stop. About a minute early, so about a minute. Actually, mm, to the back. We are bang on time. 1940 arrival time expected. 1940 on the clock. Uh, are the island bosses very uncomfortable? I don't particularly mind the material. To be fair, I don't really take ultra long journeys on trains that have the uh, new desire cities, but I've not a massive problem with them yet. Nice and slowly. And halt. Wrong button. There we go. Yeah, I must say I was quite dis oh, I was quite saddened when the uh, three on threes were retired because they were, after the retirement of the London Underground A stock, the oldest trains running on the uh, UK main lines. So I believe the old trains are now going to be the ones on Southern. I can't quite remember the tox class for it. Um, but yeah, these trains. If I call correct, these are 1968, 1967, and then uh, retired in 2019, 2020. You are right, sorry, no, you are right, some do so actually a few three on threes. Not many, but they operate down on the East Coast way. But even they're being phased out by, I believe. As for whatever's excess. Alright, close the doors, that's three to go. To be fair, the trains I'll be most sad about when they retire will probably be the, uh, the odd networkers. The 166s, 167s, 465s, 466s, and 3... Oh, they? They're on Great Northern as well. 3-somethings. And then there's actually there's like a 167 or 68, something like that. When they go, they'll be the, uh, they'll be the sad ones for me. I've always, uh, always adored a good old networker. Very much save regional railways here in the UK at a time when things are looking very bleak for the future. Yes, true, we have got some 379s also being phased out of the world. It just shows that, well, these are trains built to last. Built to last. Yeah, to be fair, the 707s were phased out after six months of existence. Southwest decided to uh, swap them for something a bit cheaper to run, but uh, yeah, until Southeastern pick them up. They lasted mere months on the railway. So next station is Oakley Park. Very shortly, gets us ready to stop for that. If you guys have heard of map, I highly recommend picking it up. It's a very, very good tour, this. I do very much enjoy the... Uh, Oops, go away. You very much enjoy the uh, tracking side of things. I really should do what I do with train my flights and streams, which is get the URL for our tracking and then kind of pin it in the uh, in the chats. Right, next station, Oakley Park. Open there very shortly. Oops. 
Let's go away. A nice slow stop. That will do it. Doors open. Welcome back, games. How are you doing? Welcome to Chelsea Chats. How are you today? I'm do something in two seconds, hopefully. I remember how it works. Problem is, I don't remember how it works. There is a way you can find your link and follow it on the third rail's radar. I don't remember the exact link that was needed in order to do that. There used to be a way I've forgotten, so sadly. I don't think I can be able to do so. Uh hello. What's that tag? Seven seven three six. We've got plenty of times here. Eight four two nine seven. Probably won't work. No, no, it hasn't. Fair enough. We can just uh, forget it then for now. Right, doors close, and let's get going. Ready at the same time. Right, brakes release. Next station is New Barnet. New Barnet. Yes, <laughs> season sound effects. That's. Uh, very welcoming in this day and age. And so once we hit New Barnet, I believe that's actually the final station before the M25. Afterwards, we're then outside of London. Uh, I don't remember where Hadley Wood is. Potter's Bar is definitely outside of London. Emily Barnett's in Hertfordshire, not uh, London. So we're at the M25 area. Uh, not too bad, Diego. Not too bad. How are you? Welcome to the channel. Welcome to the chats. Sloping into uh, New Barnet right now. In terms of timing, we're supposed to be here at 1945. 1940, it's about three minutes behind schedule right now, which is not great. But it could be worse, especially given that we've done most of this as well. Six more stops after this. Not very long, long, so about an hour from start to finish. Let's cover. Well, about 23 miles, a little bit grand outside of London. Uh, how much longer do you think the 10th ones should be kept on the route? Um, well, they got the replacements for it at Trail. And so, well, when have they had the replacements, really? I mean, I like the old, but there's no progression if you keep holding the old. The new trains are more, well, the new trains are more efficient, they're much cheaper to run, much more efficient, much greener. They're better trains over the new ones. I like the old, but. I'm not going to stop the uh, the new from taking over. Let's close. We had a guard. Let's press the uh, the bell. But we're on driver only operation right now. Hang on. Why is my more of us is stuck? Uh, why have you done that? Oh boy. More of us is actually. St I can't move it. It's. frozen. Oh boy. Does anybody know why this has done that? I press F. It kind of pushes it, but for some reason I can't move it 
backwards and forwards. The reverse is also stuck. Ah, uh, boy. I've done wrong. We'll have the oils coming up shortly. We'll go slowly towards that. I'll try and refer to the manual, hopefully. Uh, nope, I'm not using rail driver. It doesn't work. Rail driver's not compatible with the... Uh, With this. Hang on. Off. I really don't know. That's the first time it's ever done that for me. Keep the controls. Uh, Pantograph. Yeah, Pantograph sets. Shit, let's say, well, hang on, my, my reverse is not in the right, hang on. That's the problem, so my reverse actually reset itself. The reverse is in the off position, but I can't move the reverser because either the train's moving or, hang on, what? Stop the train. Let's see if I try and figure out what's gone wrong here. My reverse is stuck. Ah, gotcha, gotcha, okay, 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 okay. Rice is hopefully averted. Uh, so that's locked. There you. Release you. Now that you. Re so the reverse is now stuck. I can't move that into the forward position. That's strange. Hold it. I ah, hang on. Okay, well, um, we're moving again. <laughs> uh, I don't get this game sometimes. A lot of fun train sim. Maybe I have to refer to a, a poor press tyre the video. About how to get you through on three moving again. I believe Paul Tyman did a video on Great Northern. Possibly. Well, I'll have to check. I'm fairly sure though Paul Tyman did a few uh, instructional videos on this line. We're going again, Hadley Wood next station. We're supposed to be at Hadley Wood at approximately 1948, so about four minutes. Four minutes, I'm not complaining about four minutes. We could be much worse than this. I'll, uh, I'll accept it for now. Also have spikes, spring to halt. Slowly crawl to the end of platform, uh, platform four. Take care, Soggy. The, well, the stream doesn't start for another seven minutes. It's going to take down for another seven minutes. But, uh, I say I'll lucky tune in as soon as this one ends. Just, uh, check out the new train for trains in world. It sounds like most of the 465. They get the, uh, the Alstom brush motors right. That, for me, is the winner. They can get the sounds... Right, and the train is uh, an automatic, automatic self, well, automatic buy for me. Day one purchase. Right, doors close. Brakes off. Wait for the dots. And forward. Right, next station, Potter's Bar. Not too bad, Owen. How are you doing? Welcome to the channel, welcome to the chat. How are you today? Welcome, Gary. How are you doing? Welcome to the channel, chat. Uh, what is 25% of forces for? Um, two, three, two, one, fifteen, one, sixteen, 
116, I'd say. 116. Yeah, I do hope 40 happens. It's a shame we had it cancelled last year, so fingers crossed this year we do, uh, do enjoy the Wally National Rail Show again. But hey, time will tell. Math is easy. Then again, I ain't got to be in maths. Not got much higher than that. So we're now going to try the, the full power of this train at 40 miles per hour. Next station is going to be Potter's Bar. Also the site of uh, Airbox in a couple of years ago. So we had the one at Moorgate, which was the underground crash. You then got Potter's Bar. That was due to a faulty bit of track. That's all the train derail at high speed into the uh, into the platform. It's been alright today, Gary. It's been an alright day. Can't uh, can't fault much of it. I'm trying to think, I had a friend who, uh, I'm trying to remember, was it Potter's Bar you used to work at back when you was a uh, ticket person? He's now much more higher up at Thames, I think. I'm sure it was Potter's Bar he used to work at, his first job was in the ticket office. Are you 10 minutes from Matt Wasman Guard City, are you, uh, Matt? Very nice, hopefully when we'll, hopefully it gets well when we'll uh, spot you on the platform there, giving us a wave. Half mile to go now to Potter's Bar, we'll bring back the throttle. Slowly bring to a halt. Yeah, no worries, Gary. You take care. Have a good one. Hope I'll see you later. Uh, yes, I know these guys trains limited. Yes, they are running the uh, East Coast Main Line. Entering platform. What? Oh. 57, 1951. So we're about six, seven minutes behind schedule right now. Seven minutes to catch up. Uh, what have you missed, Annabelle? What have you missed? Welcome channel to chat. How are you today? I've got the main road. There it is. It's actually quite an old route now for train simulator. This is the, uh, well, it's the Peterborough route. London's Peterborough. East Coast, uh, East Coast Main Line South. But, I'm trying to remember, well, the bit to Moorgate was a mod. Is a mod that you can use. Um, this came out in like 2011, 2012. It's an older route, this. It's an older route. It's, uh, it's a very detailed one, and a lot of it still stands to uh, to just stay. Well, the chimney uh, developments, these could play in line. A lot of it is still very old fashioned, I guess. It's about 12 minutes now to the end of the line. 12 minutes from here to, uh, to where it went. station is Brooksman's Park, followed by Wilson Green, Hatfield and Wilson Garden City. So another four more stops to go now. Four more stops to go.
Three on three and the whole family destroyed actually. Proper proper British Royal Classic Steeds. I've got some set to our left hand side as well. So far, all looking very good, very good indeed. Not too bad, Mike. Not too bad. How are you doing? Welcome to the channel. Welcome to the chats. And the train to our right are coming up, I believe. Back to the thrust and get ready to break. Half mile to go now. No, Owen. You take care and have a good one. Bye bye. Uh, this is Train Simulator, Matt. This is Train Simulator. If this was Flight Sim, I'd have uh, a few questions regarding what I'm doing right now. Uh, that's against Bus Sim. Would be quite interesting. It probably would be called Bus Sim World to follow the uh, Sim World series of trail. So you've got uh, Train Sim World, Bus Sim World, Fishing Sim World, is it called? You've got Flight Sim World, which uh, sadly we don't talk about anymore, and then, um, well yeah, Bus Sim World. Okay, a nice slow cross the end platform, hold the brakes, and halt. Yeah, so there's train coming up again, that's the uh, 717s. Very sparse we stations. I believe this used to be a entry service road, but no, no longer used. Uh, Flight Sim World, so I think, without going into too much depth, I guess, Dovetail Games had the rights for Microsoft Flight Simulator's entertainment license from FSX, and for Microsoft to release Microsoft Flight in 2020, they needed it back. So, basically, I believe what happened was, Microsoft bought back the Dovetail Game, well, Dovetail, Microsoft bought back the Flight Sim license, for Microsoft Flight Sim, but there's, I'm sure there's a lot more detail behind it which someone needs to look into. But it's something to do with licensing and the fact that Dovetail at the time owned Microsoft Flight Simulator as a entertainment product, which Dovetail, uh, Microsoft did back for Flight Sim. Uh, yes, Dan, Great uh, Train Simulator 21 does have the Great Western Main Line. It goes from Reading to. Oxford, if I call correctly, but I just got Parkway. And um, green coming up. Two more stops off this Hatfield, and then Welbourne Garden City, where the train terminates. We should be out to see Welbourne right now, but we are behind schedule, and therefore we have lost a bit of time on routes. But we're getting there. We are slowly getting there, my friends. Uh, that's not how licensing works, eh, Trail? That's not how licensing works. Right. Train comes to halt. Green 
Very sparse, some of these stations. Very sparse indeed. Next station, our penultimate, penultimate stop, Atsfield. Oh, you're talking about the, yes, you're talking about the uh, Just Rains extension. You are right, Dan. Yes, Just Rains have them an extension for the uh, Great Ocean Railway. Uh, if you're a real train driver, what music would you be listening to? I'm not quite sure what careers in music have to do with one another, Mike, that. Much more cottage to our right hand side. Wouldn't know that about uh, third rails maps. Nice to have there, kind of said. Just tracking your routes, following along where you're going. It's just, uh, again, it's a nice scene, a little extra for you to, uh, to enjoy. One more to go to Hatfields. And like I say, not very long to go off. That's between Hatfield and Wormgarden, it's in about four minutes. We'll slow across to the end of the line. We'll head to the terminus platform four, and then bring things to an end. Keep the uh, we feel going a little bit longer there. Platform's now visible to us. Big step one. Remember, what the fear on three is. Separate brake and throttle uh, controls. So it's no the master controller, you do have to do everything separately. You've got your throttle on the right there, and then you've got your brakes on the left. Brake pressure gauge is right there. And follow that along as you do start to slow train down. Oh, yes, they are doing a southwest route surge so trains as well. Then he came from Newsbury, very nice. Oops, a bit of a bump there. Must be a bit of a track, uh, track change. We're now at Hatfield, which is probably one of the largest towns on the uh, up north here. It's now one of the biggest stations, one of the more grander platforms. We're in Holt. Uh, born in Reading, live in Newbury for six months, and live in Manhattan. Oh, okay. Very nice. I think, where's last one? Oh. I've never really been to Reading before. I've been through it. I've never actually really had to 
do anything around. They've never even been outside the station there. Uh, Maidenhead, I've been to a couple of times in the past, have made a few stops, but not recently, admittedly, because of COVID. And uh, as for Newbury, never been there. Never been there. I <laughs> don't know if I ever will. There's quite a few garden cities here in the UK, Trail. There's quite a few of them, that's it. There's a certain spec required for them. They have to be... They're a modern new town built with a certain amount of greenery to make it a garden city. I can't remember how it's all defined, but there is a definition for it. Hey, living nearby. Well, Catherine Stray, how are you doing? What channel to chat? How are you today? So one more station. Well, I'm going to see where the train will terminate. We're supposed to arrive at 20.04. We are 10 minutes behind schedule right now. So hopefully, we won't lose too much after that. Yeah, also the two and threes, they are a very old slow train. The seven one sevens that replaced them, very, very smart. Much faster acceleration, much faster actual moving speed. And tables have definitely been cut in half thanks to the uh, to the new trains. <laughs> Trust me, uh, Cats Australia. There's no way we're going to be there on time. Once you want to go back in time. Another three-ish miles to go now, to the end of the line. The, uh, s uh, well and south down slow line currently on now at the moment. About three miles to go until we hit the, uh, terminus. If you ever get stuck in a tunnel, then there's the ladder. That's just the train through the front. The arms on the pass have done a fantastic job of this train. Love the detail in the modelling is fantastic throughout. Uh, no other no real to terminate Cash Australia because I've got to go watch the uh, Dovetail stream. Which is where they're showcasing the all new class 465 in this end, so I'm not missing that stream, that's for sure. Maybe this, and then we end. Welcome, Puedo, welcome to Chats, how are you today? Uh, scenery, this is the East Coast Mainline South, London to uh, Peterborough routes. Right, so we've got a left hand junction coming up now, and also it needs to start going down to 25 miles per hour. I'm praying for that. Breaks back. <laughs> I wish. I wish. Um, this is actually we are using a sky mod. This is the Armstrong Powerhouse Improved Skies, I believe it's called. Not bad. Not bad. I wish it was proper 3D clouds rather than texture, but. They ain't bad textures, they do look pretty good. Yeah, we're actually using a sky texture. Armstrong Powerhouse for that. As well as the Armstrong Powerhouse 3D rails thing as well. Small mods, not too expensive, but hey, there's small mods that make small improvements to your sim. Can't, uh, can't really say otherwise, can you? So we'll let the train slow down to 25. Points. Now I'm playing this platform for. Try not to uh, go through the. No, these buffers, I think there's a through platform here. The red signal, so definitely try not to spad to get to the end of this line. AWS, that's me the red signal. Oops, don't stop just yet. And reverse is gone again.
And I think that's going to be as uh, as far as it goes now. Since we technically hit the end of the line, I'm going to refuse that train to move again. There you go. Well, well gone, City. We've reached the end of this quick life Let's see how we did, shall we? Alright, so, East was going to land on Peterborough. This is using the freeware Moorgate extension add on, which is free to download. Uh, yeah, Digi's Pedal Brace used speeding a couple of times, but for the most part, not too bad. 21 miles, 30 kilometres in the 3 on 3 Great Northern. Overall, not, uh, not a bad run, that. And so, uh, yeah, I've never raised really the end of that. So, only short route, short run, that. 20 miles, 1 hour, what can you say? If you're interested in more trains in the world, I'd highly, I'd highly recommend you go to the Dovetail stream now, since they're showcasing the new Class 465 add-on, which is coming for the Southeastern High Speed routes. That's where I'm going now. But apart from that, we now bring the stream to an end, so thank you all very much for watching. You take care, have a good one, and I shall see you again soon. Take care, and goodbye.